Welcome to our CES 2019 coverage right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're in the Third Eye booth, and I'm here with Nick. He's the CEO of the company, founder as well? That's correct. Now, you guys are working on being our third eye, I guess. We're, we're going towards being the Terminator, getting all sorts of information in front of us on a heads-up display. Uh, you've designed these glasses. Walk me through the things that they can do, and they'll be available fourth quarter this year. Sure. I like to say they're more Iron Man and less Terminator. Um, but basically, these are the X2 Mixed Reality Smart Glasses. They're the world's smallest smart glasses with 3D tracking and Mixed Reality capabilities. Basically, what this allows you to do is some advanced applications, like having a flying dinosaur in the middle of a city, or basically any 3D object anywhere you want in the real world, you could display it with their glasses. So that seems cool. I tested that out. But that seems more like games yeah, and yeah. moving and stuff, and movies and stuff like that, which is wonderful. Uh, that's entertainment, but what about practical uses? Uh, seems like you've got cameras mounted on the front, um, it, and, and I noticed that this had object detection. You had also uh, facial recognition to detect people. Uh, walk me through some of the practical uses for it. So our primary use case are for enterprise at the moment. So it's primarily, say you don't know how to fix something in an enterprise. You could wear the glasses. Someone could see exactly what you see via this 30 megapixel high resolution camera, provide you live AR instructions so they can live annotate in your field of view, instruct where to fix something. And the beauty of smart glasses is you're hands-free. You don't need to hold up a phone or tablet. Just wear the glasses and get any instructions you need live in your field of view. So you can do remote help, um, 3D scanning, live instructions overlaid on any machine. So there's a lot of enterprise healthcare applications on the glasses. I imagine this will eventually get smaller. Yes, yeah, so currently these are the smallest at six ounces, the smallest mixed reality glasses on market, but our engineers are working hard to make it smaller and smaller every year while keeping powerful features. So we have SLAM capabilities to do 3D tracking. We have a thermal sensor, so you can see a thermal view of what you're looking at. We have a flashlight. We have a lot of cool sensors in here, GPS. So it's really powerful. It's also, we're trying to miniaturize it. Yeah, I, I noticed that it also has the recognition, which is great. If you, like you said, you could talk to somebody who could walk you through how to fix something, like your car, but you also can have it recognize people and give you information, uh, objects, people, all sorts of things. That's correct. So image recognition is one of our most popular applications. You can use it from recognizing a machine and getting instructions on how to fix it, recognizing people, say you have Alzheimer's, you can tell you who you're looking at, healthcare, um, it's mostly for live instructions, but the ability to be hands-free and see what you're looking at and getting information exactly about what you're looking at is invaluable for a lot of different use cases. I think what's interesting is that Google Glass was uncomfortable, didn't really deliver on most of these features. It's uncomfortable to look at it. Right. This is uh, good. It's got a good field of view. Uh, it's in front of you. It seems far enough away that it's not in your eye, um, yet you can see past it from what I could tell. So it's very interesting. About $2,500 when you release it uh, this fall? So our X2, this is our, this is our flagship product. We've entered into mass production to pipeline. So we'll be in mass production in May. Uh, and we're taking pre-orders right now. It's about $1,600 for pre-orders and about $1,900 for the um, mass production price. And we are the lowest price of any mix of reality headset out there. So we're pretty excited about our customers. Congratulations. How'd you start the company? So our team, we just had a lot of interest in AR. We saw this as the right time. Technology was, was reaching the point where you could miniaturize it into a pair of almost glass-looking smart glasses. So we just thought this was a great time to get involved, and we're getting a really strong response. Every single day we're getting cool new use cases. So it's the next major technology platform, and we're really excited. I bet it'll be huge in medical. Medical is one of the biggest spaces by far, especially because you can be hands-free and get any digital information about live surgical instructions, live patient information. There's so much stuff you can do. And if you think about uh, emergency medicine, when you're on the side of the road and you can't transport somebody, a doctor can come in and help an EMT walk through a procedure or somebody who's somewhat trained that couldn't do it before. Exactly. So those live remote help applications, telehealth is massive for these smart glasses. It's all about making them portable. So that's why these are about six ounces. You can use them indoors and outdoors in different situations. Some other headsets are really bulky, so they're hard to transport, but we try to make it as easily portable as possible, and people are happy. Thanks, Nick. He's Nick. I'm Michael. Be terrific.